My day has gone great so far. But look, we got another video right here for y'all boys. Alright man, so look, we back at it again with another video and y'all, I know I've been gone. I know I've been gone for like almost a week, okay? But I got a good explanation, okay? I'm not gonna tell y'all in this video, but I do got a vlog dropping, so make sure y'all be on the lookout for that, you know what I'm saying? Anyway, so look, I came across this video, right? This is mom found out son was gay through Facebook video and bro, when I tell you this is the most disrespectful video ever! I don't feel like no mother should talk to their kids like this. Whether they found out that they was this, that they was that. I mean, at the end of the day, people live their life and they gonna be who they are. But you you should never bash your kids the way that she did. And I'm gonna warn y'all, the beginning of the video, she started off reckless, okay? So look, if you if you got your kids around, I'm gonna tell you, like, you might wanna tell them to go to the room because it, it starts off reckless, okay? I mean, cursing after cousin after cousin. I was like, that God dang. Anyways, hit the like button, subscribe to on post notifications, follow your boy on IG. You know what I'm saying? Dang, bro, I haven't did a reaction in a minute, bro. Bear with me. Bear with your boy. Follow your boy on IG, man. Without further ado, let's get it. Let's go. Let's go. You got oh problems you need to bitch. work on. You got problems you need to work on, nigga. You got problems you need to work on. You got problems you need to work on, bitch. Want some dick in your ass, bitch. You have some problems. You have some problems. Bloody you have some problems. You really have some problems. The problem is. The problem is. I don't, I don't the have problem a problem. Is, bitch, you think it's That's your problem. Now, That's your, your problem. Bitch. No, you yours really have a mental problem. Men you really have yours a mental problem. Mental. That's really sad. That's yours really is sad. Mental. That's really sad. Talk to your son like that. That's really sad. 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 First of all, I I don't even know what she said after that. I'm still I'm still stuck on the fact she just said you do you you dookie bloody. Did, what, what? Why so much? Bro, it don't take all that just to find out that just, it, it doesn't take all that, bro. All that anger, all that, man, it doesn't take all that. Yes, two men don't belong together, but come on, man. It don't take all that, okay? <laughs> I'm gonna give my thoughts and everything at the end of the video. We just come on, man. You talking to your son like that? Well, you know, it's the truth, that's really bitch. That's how I know you I need help. Now you ain't my son. That's you why know, you I'm not doing it now, bitch. I don't. I, I, I don't even want to like like be your kid. I don't even want to be. I don't even want to be your kid. 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 I don't even want to be Oh God, dang. look! I just seen the beginning part. I ain't see all that. I, I, I look. I only seen the beginning. I ain't see that. Hold on, that that was just part two, though. Y'all know we got to come with part three. Come on, man. I'm You have a lot of trauma. You have to work. You got problems you need to work on. You you got problems. God damn, boy. I didn't watch part three either. I just seen the beginning. I just knew it was a part three because like after this video, another video said part three. I was like, okay, let me download both of these. But okay, man, I got a lot of thoughts to say. Oh, jeez, bro. Oh my gosh. First of all, y'all let me know what y'all think about that. Is that the way to handle stuff? Is that the way to handle the fact that you just found out your son is gay? I don't think that's the way to handle. I think everything could be handled in a in a professional way. Me personally, if if my, if I found out my son was gay, I'm not finna do all that. I'm not finna. Oh, oh my gosh! I dropped my headphones. I don't know what that was, but um, 
If I found out my son was gay, bro, I wouldn't do all that. I wouldn't do all that if I found out my son was gay. Why? Because I feel like that can cause somebody to commit suicide. Seriously. Because, bro, you call him out his name. You tell him out this, talking about that. It's sad because it's like, dang, like, this is the one person he probably wanted to really get support from was his parents. And he can't even get that because you just so, you so hurt at the fact that your son made a, a self-decision. Okay? Like a self, a life self-decision. This is his decision. At the end of the day, I mean, bro, sound like he about 17, 18. Uh, and I feel like, you know, you could have told him that, okay, two men don't belong together. You could have talked to him, but you could have talked to him in an or a fa a ordinary fashion way. Like, you, you didn't have to say all that. You know what I'm saying? Because this, this can really cause depression. This can cause so many different things. And people don't realize that, bro. It's the way that you talk to people. You got to talk to people with respect. You want respect? You got to talk to people with respect. Simple as that. So for you to call yourself, you dookie, you dirty dookie, bloody D penis B. Like, bro, What? What did what did the blood come from? I'm confused. You dirty dookie blood. She said so many different words in one sentence. It's like God, dang, bro. I feel bad for homie though. I really, I honestly feel bad for him. Like I, I don't support the LGBT community. I don't support it. I don't. Okay, that's just me. I don't support it. But at the end of the day, I feel like people will make their own decisions. It's their life. You know, they can make their own decisions. If they want to go through our life doing what they do, they can do that. You can talk to him about God. You could do all that. You could talk to him about this. You could say, oh, two, two women, two men, don't belong. You could talk to him about all that. But at the end of the day, it's still their decision. They make their decisions on their own. Especially if they're 18 and up, they make their decisions on their own. You know what I'm saying? But for you to really just disrespect your son because you found out that he was gay from a Facebook video, instead of talking to him, you disrespect that man. Instead of talking to him, you called him out his name. Instead of talking to him, you just treated him like he wasn't even really your son. And then for you to say... I don't even want, for him to say, I don't even want to be your son no more. And you tell him that he's not even your son. He's your daughter. Bro, that's like, nah, that's like, bro, that's wild. That is wild, bro. You know what I'm saying? That is honestly wild for you to call your son your daughter because he's gay, bro. At the end of the day, he's still your seed. At the end of the day, he still came out, Chova JJ. At the end of the day, he's still a dude. Okay. He's still physically a man. And from the looks of it, it don't look like he, well, I don't know how his face look. I just seen the legs and the shoes. It don't look like he's dressing like a woman. So at the end of the day, it just seems like he's just gay. It don't seem like he's doing too much and being a drag queen and doing all that. It don't seem like that. Just by the shoes and by the legs. and It just don't seem like, I just can't see, well, his face, I just you can't picture a, a woman's face with the shoes and stuff that he got on. But that doesn't matter. The point is, bro, you have to talk with, you have to talk to your kids with respect, bro. Like, you really just disrespect that man. Y'all let me know what y'all think about the situation, man. I just had to come on here and tell y'all, like, when I saw this, I'm like, oh, yeah. I only seen the beginning, but when I saw him, I'm like, oh, yeah, I got to react to this. I ain't finished watching the rest. I'm like, yeah, I got to give a full throw reaction. And you let, like, bro, I know he was hurt. I know he's hurt. his own mother treated him like a, a stranger on the street. His own biological mother. The one person, the one person we all want support from is our parents. And when they treat us like dog doodle, it's like we feel like we worthless. That's the only support that I care about is from the support from my parents. I don't care about friends, none of that. If I got support from my parents and they they support my dreams and they support what I want to do, that's the only support I care about. For, but for you to just treat him like this was totally disrespectful and wrong, bro. Totally dis disrespectful and wrong. It's ways that you can handle situations, and this is definitely not the way. This was this was a way that a kid would handle a situation, not a grown adult. Some of you adults be 30 physically, but then y'all act like y'all 14 mentally. <laughs> For real. But uh, anyways, man, I'm going to go ahead and get off this video. Let me know what y'all thoughts are in the comment section below. Hit the like button, subscribe, turn on post notifications. I love each and every one of y'all, man. God bless. Stay blessed. Peace.